guys, welcome to the sew along for the seam work Frankie dress. I am Lindsay, the host here at Inside the Hem, and I am happy to walk you through how to make um, this really, really super cute dress. Um, in this video, we're gonna be we're gonna be pretty much preparing the bodice. Let's get into it. Okay, so before we go and base the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and pin. Um, the yoke in place. So this is, we're going to take one of our yoke pieces. We are going to place it right sides up. The bodice goes right side down. So these two things are right sides together. Now, again, your uh, outer seams match. The one in the arm side, it goes one to one, or it goes right on the edge. This uh, facing the where the facing seam is that is actually going to go inside of the yoke by three eighths of an inch. Now we do our gathering and pin at the notches. How we're folding, we had to do the gathers first and then fold it back. Otherwise, you won't be able to get in here to get your gathering done evenly. Okay, so we've got that one. Repeat for the other shoulder. Base this down. Okay, similar to how we did for the midriff piece, we are going to turn one yoke. The yoke that's attached is going to be right sides together with the bodice. The other yoke is going to go onto the table right side up. This whole thing the whole bodice piece gets laid on top so that the yoke pieces are sandwiching the bodice piece inside. So it should be uh, uh, inner yoke, it should be bodice, and it should be outer yoke. So pin these matching raw edges and notches and now you can officially sew this in place. We're actually going to be stitching and then pivoting, coming around, stitching all of this and then pivoting again. So you want to make sure you've got your centers also matched. All right, to my machine. All right, we are going to trim and grade again. Um, the one closest to the body is the facing piece. So I'm going to trim those first. And then this one by a little bit less. Then on your um, yoke, where there's the most curves, that's where you want to clip or notch. All right, easy peasy. So now you're just gonna take this, turn it all right side out, and you're gonna press the neck edge and the shoulder, sle shoulder seams really well. Um, and then we'll be moving on to the back. All right, for the back piece, we are just gonna be sewing in our darts. So if you haven't already, you wanna mark your dart lines, your dart legs. I don't know if you can see mine or not, but there's one here and it comes down here. Lord, I can barely see it. In order to sew your dart, we are gonna take a pin and we are gonna put that through a bottom leg. We're gonna pull it up through the other bottom, the other leg. And then we're gonna move our pin around to make sure the pin is perpendicular, I'm sorry, parallel to the table. That way you know it's going through one dart leg into the other one perfectly even. Now I'll go up to my point, which is right here. Put a pin in there. And then for the in-between parts, I do the same thing as I did down here. I'm gonna pin through one leg and then I'm gonna peek on the other side and make sure that it's matching up with that other leg. So it's going through the chalk line there and there. So now I can finish pinning. And then as I come up, I'll start pinning out here and then put it in on the underside back dart leg. 
and then smoosh as I need. So one dart leg and then the other one. Same thing here. I'll come, uh, I'll start way out in the, within the piece and then make sure that it goes up and through both dart legs. Then you're gonna give this a light press just along here, lightly press that. And then when you go to sew your dart, everything is in place and nothing should be shifting around. Back stitch here and then pull off a long tail here and tie this into a knot and do that to both darts. All right, another trick that works especially well um, on lightweight fabrics for darts is as you get close to the point, maybe an inch, inch and a half away, you're gonna reduce your stitch length. So I'm gonna ping mine down to two and then come off the edge like that. And that's just gonna ensure that at the point, everything is very, very fine and that will give you less of a pucker. Let me show you. So when we open this up, at the point of the dart, no pucker. Okay, so then you're gonna press this toward the center of the back um, and same with the other one. Okay, so you're gonna be laying piece B, your back piece face up. My darts are right here and these are gonna be the little arm size. This is the upper back, okay? This is the part that gets attached to the yoke. Then you are gonna take your outer yoke piece, which if you're looking at your bodice, right, if you're looking at the yokes, it's the one that is on the outside. That is going to get placed right sides together with the back piece. So these two things get lined up just like this and sewn. There's no easing or gathering or anything. Okay. Press the seam that you just sewed toward the yoke. Place your garment right side up. So what you have is back, outer yoke, inner yoke, inner yoke's right here, peeking through, and then front. You're gonna take the front of the bodice and you're gonna start to roll it, just like you would a burrito or an egg roll, I guess. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, until it's all rolled up to the shoulder seams. Then you're gonna take the back and you're gonna roll the back. All right, so at this point, this is our back. This is our outer yoke. This is our front. This is our inner yoke, okay? This comes to here. So now everything's resting on the outer yoke. We have the seam that you just sewed, that's the back and the outer yoke together. You're gonna take the inner yoke and that's gonna go on top of all of this. So we have the outer yoke that touches the table, the back is in the middle, and the inner yoke is on top. And your yokes, should be right sides together, your back should be wrong side up. Okay, so if you need to see that again, rewind the video. But basically we're just sandwiching the back within the yoke raw edges. All right, so this is essentially the moment of truth where you determine <laughs> if you did this right. You're gonna reach through here and you're gonna pull everything out through one of the armholes. So if you did it right, you will have this, where it's the back, right side up, it's the yoke, both yoke pieces, and the bodice. That's what the outside looks like. This is what the inside looks like. You have your back, both yoke pieces. You can see that this is in case, it's beautiful, as are these seams here. And we don't have to do a single lick of hand stitching. Um, so that's the yoke and then the bodice and then the midriff. 
All right, so you're gonna give this a really good press. And our bodice is almost done. Um, but yeah, go ahead and finish up your front and I'll meet you back here for the next video. So let's keep the momentum going and we'll start working on the bottom half of our dress.